Hey everyone, my name is Siddharth and I'm a medical intern here in India. Currently, I've given my USMLE Step 1 exam and I've passed it and you're watching the question solving series uh, of the gastroenterology part. And so let's begin with this. Which of the following diagnostic test results would be most specific for acute cholecystitis? Okay, so they've already given us the diagnosis that it is uh, acute cholecystitis and we just have to look at the options and decide uh, which one is the most specific one but just for the sake of this uh, question solving series we'll read the question as well to know uh, what acute cholecystitis would look like clinically a 50 year old woman comes to the emergency department with a uh, severe upper abdominal pain the pain started suddenly and is sharp and colicky she has also vomited several times throughout the day including once while in the ed the patient uh, describes several prior episodes of similar abdominal pain that resolve spontaneously without treatment. Her other medical problems include complicated appendicitis. Uh, her temperature is 37.8 and pulses 112 per minute. Abdominal examination sh uh, shows a cessation of inspiration with deep palpation of the right upper quadrant. This is also called the Murphy sign. Lab assessment shows a serum bilirubin of 0.8 and serum alkaline phosphatase of 100. Okay, so this indicates that there is some problem in the biliary tree. Initial imaging studies are equivocal. Okay, so uh, let's look at the options and decide which one will it be. Distended duodenum on upper GI series. Okay, so this indicates towards a small bowel obstruction. It can be caused by uh, gallstone ileus, but uh, this is not the complaint that our patient has. Next is uh, ecogenic structures inside the gallbladder on abdominal ultrasound. Okay, so this indicates cholelithiasis, not acute cholecystitis. So not that. For acute cholecystitis, the USG findings would be uh, gallbladder thickening or Murphy sign uh, when the sonography uh, probe is touched on that area. The next is a uh, failed gallbladder visualization on radionucleotide biliary scan. And uh, this seems to be the correct one because because in acute and chronic cholecystitis, there is blockage of the cystic duct and the gallbladder will not be visualized in such a case. Increased serum aspartate and alanine amino transferase. Uh, not specific, but yeah, it can be increased. Obesity is in the right subcoastal area on abdominal x-ray. Okay, so uh, gallbladder stones uh, do not really have calcium content so much that it's uh, visible on the x-ray. So we're going to go with C. Yeah. 